Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about um, all the required documents um, for the airplane to make a legal flight. The acronym for that is AERO. A stands for Airworthiness Certificate, which is valid um, forever as long as you keep your inspections and maintenance on time. It should be visible to the passengers and it tells you the category of the, aer um, of the airplane, like an experimental, normal, utility, and transport. Then there's registration certificate. The registration certificate is valid every three years, but in January, they made a new law for seven years. So now the registration certificate is valid for seven years. So the next R in Aero is radio license. And there are two types of licenses, one for the plane, one for the human. Um, the plane, there's the radio station license, and that is valid for 12 months. Then for the operator, there's the radio operator's permit, which is valid for life. These two permits are, are gotten on the FCC, not the FAA, and any flight that's going out of the US border. Next is the operating limitations. And operating limitations are found in the POH or in the flight manual. Uh, they basically tell you all the limitations of the aircraft. There are some limitations found in markings on the airplane. And you must carry the POH or the flight manual that has your um, limitations with you in the plane whenever it is at flight. So the last one in aero is W, which is weights and balance. Weights and balance is covered in the POH or the flight manual. It covers the empty weight and the maximum gross takeoff weight. And the difference of those two are the useful load. And the useful load is your luggage, your people, how, the weight of your people, and your fuel. The fuel is very important. If you do learn something new, then make sure to comment, like, and, and um, follow me. Thank you. Bye.